everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Sonic the Hedgehog, issue number 35, IDW Comic Review. Now, as you know, we'll, we are we are pretty much at the story where, where Sonic ends up meeting a new character called Belle, who is meant to be a sort of puppet-like robot. And the cover mainly has cows getting ready for a race, with everyone looking on, getting excited. And the story mainly starts off how Sonic, Tails and Belle are being overrun by Eggman robots. With Belle saying, how do they just keep coming? Who knows how many could be packed inside the walls. And we kind of see how they manage to get a plan. And mainly cause enough explosions to kind of limit down the numbers. And we see how Sonic makes a break for it, but we kind of see how Tails ends up getting a, a, getting captured by one of Eggman's robots, and they're like, Sonic! Whoa! Oh! And we kind of see how Belle uses her abilities to rescue Tails. And we kind of see how Sonic and the others get out just in time. And of course... We see how Tails gets a communication from Rouge, who they need to meet at White Park ASAP. And we see how Sonic says, What was that all about? I don't know, but it sounds serious. We should get going. Yeah, okay, puppety girl. We're gonna bounce. Nice knowing you. Wait, I could get a ride, maybe? We kind of see how Sonic points out that that she can't really stay in, out here and that they're going to need, need the extra help. And which Sonic decides that she can ride on the tornado with him. And we kind of see how she gets her first glimpse of it. We see how they make it to the, the, the lodge where Amy is thrilled that she's, that that's like safe and sound. And that they need help with Clutch in releasing the other captured cows. And we kind of see how they mainly go upstairs. And of course, Sonic introduces Belle, which Amy seems surprisingly okay about. Like, she doesn't really question it or ask Sonic who she's meant to be. So, of course, we kind of see them entering Clutch's Rare, and Cream wants Sonic to help out in that. And we kind of see Belle saying, I can do locks. You can? Is there, is there something that could use a little tinkering? I'm your girl. Hooray! Thank you! Whoa! Well, okay then. And we kind of see how Cream takes Belle to, 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 to help the captured cows. And we kind of see how Amy has suspicions of Rouge and knows something's up and there's something bigger going on. And we see Sonic saying... I'll do a sweep outside if there's anything in White Park. I'll find them. Good luck. And we kind of see how they see that something's happened. Clutch is nowhere to be seen. And he says, Turnabout is fair play, Missy. Do you know why I can leave my door unlocked? It's because the folks who know why aren't foolish enough to double cross me. Are the, and the folks who don't. And we kind of see how he releases one of old Eggman's old robots, which is like a giant polar bear. And of course, we kind of see how Amy and Kamel have to deal with not only one, but two. And we kind of see how... how basically... Belle is a bit more... Disappointed that they have to deal with egg bots again. And we see Kamel trying to rescue everyone in sight. Amy getting her hammer ready. And takes down one of the polar bear robots. And of course says, no fair. And kind of see her trying to get her stuff together. And goes for a giant blow. Knocking down one of the polar bear robots. And then trying to go for the second one. We see how Tails comes to... And sees that Rouge is unconscious as well, and points out that she didn't didn't betray him on his own free will. And turns out the person who who did hypnotized her 
and used her as a way to kind of get what he wanted. And we see what the person has planned for, and we see Sonic realising where Tails and Root is, and turns out the unknown person is meant to be someone, someone close to Eggman. And we see Sonic being saved by Shadow, and they quickly head off to where Sterling has them. Which he says, ah, sidekicks aren't handled the dramatic reveal, thank you very much. And if you have kind of read or watched my review on Sonic Bad Guys, for a time Sterling did join first forces with Sadlock, Minnick, and Rough and Tumble, which led to some unnecessary problems. And of course, we kind of see how Sterling gives him an ultimatum, saves Sonic's friends, or stop the lodge from being snowed in. And this is the story. And I would say this one, not good, but it's kind of alright. I think we could have had it that maybe Amy having a bit suspicions about Belle, and maybe have it, she talks with Sonic about it, saying if it's a good idea. And you could have had it that Belle maybe feels a little insecure with Amy's suspicions. It feels like the story's there, but it feels a bit quickly one-sided. So I think this one deserves a thumbs in the middle. Kind of alright, but kind of okay. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.